Today, we're gonna tone the arms, specifically the back of the arms, all while we increase the nutrients that's brought to our low back, reducing back pain, and creating proper alignment. You see, throughout our day, and even the exercises we do, we start to create a curve in the back, and that actually pushes the discs out in improper alignment. This creates a lot of back pain. Not only that, it can create or increase your risk of disc bulges and herniated discs. That's the worst. So by doing today's small movement, as we tone the back of the arms, we're gonna gently massage the discs back into proper alignment all while we increase the amount of blood flow and nutrient density to the zone. At the same time, we are absolutely toning the back of the arms and it's made just that little bit easier, especially for the beginner, because we are using the ball at the same time. For this workout, you'll need either two cushions to go underneath your stomach or a Pilates stability ball. Just the little one, the seven inch one. So are you ready? Let's get started. So just as I mentioned, I'm gonna show you the two options. If you don't have a Pilates stability ball, then just grab two pillows and you're gonna place them underneath your stomach, just like this. You're gonna relax down in this position. If you have a Pilates stability ball, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Same thing, you're gonna take that ball and place it onto the stomach and lie into it. Whatever option you use, they're both just as wonderful. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Squeeze your bottom as much as you can and relax down. You want to be about two inches away from the ground and then exhale, squeeze the bottom and push up. Only extend the arms as much as you can. If this is it, stay here. Squeeze the bottom. If you can reach all the way out and stretch all the way out with those arms, go for it. Never feel back pain. You'll feel a little bit of pressure, but you do not want pain. So don't come up quite as high if you're feeling any pain. Inhale, come down, and then squeezing the bottom, exhale, come up. Find that area that's right for you. Is it down lower or is it up higher? Relax your shoulders down your back. You're gonna to start to feel this in the backs of your arms. Squeeze the bottom and notice how that arch, that gentle arch is supported by your ball or it's supported by the pillows. Deep inhale, squeeze the bottom. That's the big, most important part to take out a little pressure from the back. And at the same time, you're pushing with the palms of your hands to get into those triceps, into the back of the arm. Lots of squeeze. And down. Squeeze the bottom. That's it, and down. We're gonna do five more. Exhale as you push up, lots of squeeze, and inhale down. If you're starting to feel this in your triceps, press like now. I know, this is a great one for the triceps. Squeeze, lift up, and down. Perfect, last one, and release. Place the hands onto the ground. We're gonna lift up and push back into child's pose. Just give the back a little bit of relaxation after that. This is the perfect workout. You can do this once or do it three times for extra activation, not only of your triceps, but to get that blood flow going into the low back and reduce back pain. And if you'd like to see more videos on how to work the back of the arms, look up now. I have another video just for you. And release. So do that workout just once or you can do it up to three times. For more motivational fitness and nutrition tips to make 50 and beyond the healthiest and most vibrant years of your life, visit AliciaJonesHealthyLiving.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.